On this last day of Black History Month, we thought we would do things a little differently. Instead of celebrating historical events and people, how about we talk about the making of history? On January 27th, President Biden made this historic announcement. I will nominate will be someone with extraordinary qualifications, character, experience, and integrity. And that person will be the first black woman ever nominated to the United States Supreme Court. It's long overdue in my view. And he's right, it's long overdue. However, you wouldn't think so if you only watch certain news outlets. To exclude certain candidates based solely on race and gender is beyond extremely divisive. Uh, it may even be illegal. The fact that he's willing to make a promise at the outset that it must be a black woman, I gotta say that's offensive. Of course, they say we want a black woman. What they really mean is what we don't want is a white male. You've gotta get someone who's African-American and competent. Right. And that really is a test. Did that woman just say it hard be hard to find a competent African-American? Yes, she did. That's Janine Pirro of Fox News. Holy sh <laughs> Anyway, for historical context, let's look back at past such announcements. Now, I'm announcing today that one of the first Supreme Court vacancies in my administration will be filled by the most qualified woman I can possibly find. I will be putting forth a nominee next week. It will be a woman. So how did those outlets react to such similar announcements? You know, since Reagan and Trump had decided to limit their field of prospective candidates for the Supreme Court. The only difference between Biden and the other two was one word, black. We're not giving you our opinions, only facts. Anyway, last week, President Biden nominated Katanji Brown Jackson to fill the impending vacancy on the Supreme Court, making this graduate of Harvard Law School the first African-American woman ever nominated to the country's highest court. Good morning, Topeka High. I'm Delaney Murphy. And I'm Jada Fulton, and this is your THS Morning Report. THS class of 2000 alum and burger stand owner Simon Bates is excited to sponsor at THS Family Night at the burger stand in the Brookwood Shopping Center on 29th. On Thursday from 5 to 10 p.m., THS PTO will receive 15% of all sales at the restaurant this evening. The money raised will go directly to after prom activities. And now to lunch. Chill mama. Welcome, Welcome back, back to What You Eat In. I'm Sage. And I'm Lily. And, and this, this is What You Eat In. For lunch today, you'll be having a grilled chicken sandwich, ravioli with garlic bread, a cheese quesadilla, a cheeseburger, and, and baked beans. And, and that's, that's what, what you, you eat. In. <laughs> shout outs, shout outs, shout outs! Can I be a part of the cheer team now? Yeah, of course. Yay, shout outs! We are excited to share that both Brantasia Loggins and Maddie Lana Zuniga are the first ever female state placers in the history of Topeka High School Wrestling. Their names will be added to our state placer board in the wrestling room, and they will forever be a part of Topeka High history. If you see them in the halls of Troy, give them a pat on the back, but not too aggressively, or they might slam and pin you. Way to go, ladies. And we'd also like to give a shout out to the women's basketball team for clobbering the Chargers of Topeka West last Friday. We'll leave you with a few images of that contest. And that's all we have for you today to speak a high. And remember, it's, it's a great, great day to be a Trojan. Trojan. Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me. I exist to remember your story. I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory, yeah. Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring, yeah. Just want a life that is worth every day exploring, yeah. My whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me. My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be. Yeah, I just want to be great. Yeah, I just want to be great Yeah, I just want to be great Yeah, yeah